Hello everyone, welcome back to the CryptoCast podcast. This is going to be episode one for the new series. I'm joined here with Ben, or Swarman99. Hey! And we're also here with Kieran, who is another new member to Crypto Void. Hey! Um, we're going to be explaining a little bit on what is going to come in the future and what um, all our roles are going to be within the next few months or the future of Crypto Void. Um, and we're just going to go along and uh, talk a little bit about it. So, should we get into into introducing Kieran to introducing the platform? Kieran. Kieran, who are you? Well, I could really big myself up here. Uh, <laughs> I could really go for it. Um, now I'm a, uh, a friend of both the founding members of Crypto Voids. Um, I'm a caster and Dota player. Uh, I've been knocking about in the UK scene for four years and content creation is something I've wanted to get into and needs to have given the opportunity. Uh, it's really as all to me, isn't there? Just I'm a Dota player. What else do I do? You play FIFA. I, I do play FIFA, that is very well, true. You try to. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've got Kieran now. He's part of the family officially. Uh, if by some chance you haven't managed to see our tweets, make sure you head on over to our Twitter. It's just uh, at CryptoVoid. You will see yeah. us. Give us a follow. Hit the notification bell. Just like you should do on the YouTube channel. Make sure that you are keeping up to date. And uh, you'll see us plug in Kieran when he's on stream. When do you stream, Kieran? Uh, whenever. Uh, mo most days, actually. All just... day. Every day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> 24-7. It's, it's most days though. Pop a Dota stream up, stream myself playing my solo ranked games. Uh, just pop in, have a look, see what's going on. If you're new to Dota, ask questions in chat. I'll happily answer them as best as I can, you know, stuff like that. Just interact with me. It's one interact thing my, with you. Well, people that watch my streams, they usually just don't interact with me. So... There you go, guys. We need some Make Fs friends. in the chat at some Give point. Give me a big F. <laughs> when I die, big F. Cool. All right. So, I've already plugged the Twitter a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we run polls, so you can get in involved. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you don't want to see. Let us know how we're doing. Show a bit of love. Show a bit of support. Uh, we also happen to have some other social medias, which Jared uh, can tell you about. We have a Pinterest that you can go and subscribe to. No, nah, not really. Um, <laughs> we've also got, we have also got Instagram, um, that's going to be booted up again at some point soon when we can remember the password for it. Um, also we have, what else do we have? We have SoundCloud. SoundCloud is where the, um, podcasts are going to go up mainly. Obviously they will be on YouTube, but if you want to sort of listen on the go, um, SoundCloud's always a good alternative to YouTube as it doesn't use up your data as much. And uh, if you want to have your phone right? locked, yeah, if yeah, if you want to have your phone locked, um, SoundCloud, which will be down in the description below, which you can go and go and check out if you really really want to. Also, every single social media that we have will be linked down below as well. So, now if we're plugging like social media and platforms here, you just just want to head over to twitchtv slash fables 2177 Hey, 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 yep. hey, hey, actually, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> no, that's 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 fine. That's fine with me. Why not? That'll also be in the description. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Well, that'll be in the so, description. That is what, like five, five, six, something like that. Different ways to become a part of the Cryptovoid family. Yeah. You know, we're gonna love everyone. Is yeah, exactly. Just make sure you follow us. Obviously, once uh, we get a bit more into a. Um... And there's obviously some people that really do use Discord a lot. We have got a Discord server, um, but it's more sort of like a private one at the minute. But if it's something that people want to see sort of down the line is a community Discord server, we can easily obviously create one of them and have discussions in there. But with, with you guys about different stuff, I'm uh, about to get arrested. Don't know if you, uh, if you <laughs> heard that. <laughs> Um, don't know. There's a lot, a lot of police going past my window tonight. So they're looking for you. Too many subscribers. Yeah, mate. I've made too much on AdSense, and they need me. They need me to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but yeah, yeah that's I... that's all the sort of social media stuff i think that we need to need to um address um it'll all be done in the description or whatever um sort of thing is going to be underneath this video on whatever platform we put it on um so what other things should we be getting into now then other things to be getting into well if they're new to the channel mm -hmm. or if they've seen some videos before but aren't subscribed to us first of all what you doing Hit the subscribe button. what are you doing come on <laughs> doesn't cost nothing helps us out shows some love smash the button hit the bell just give support, it a good old support. smash Smash or pass? You want to smash the like the <laughs> like button? The like button? Yeah, the like button and the fucking subscribe button, mate. Do it. Do them all. Hit all the buttons. Just not the dislike one, but hit all the buttons. All the other buttons. Every single button. All right. Yeah. But yeah, if if you've seen videos and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Check out a bunch of the other videos we've got. We're like a hundred videos on. Yeah, something right. like that. Some of them are a bit outdated at the moment because they were obviously made around topics which were relevant at the time. Um, but they're all entertaining nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. If you if, if you want a bit of laugh and if you want if you want to see sort of like progression, I guess from from the new content we're going to be be putting up soon, which we're going to talk about in a minute, um, and sort of like the progression from making our old videos a couple of years ago or a year a year ago now or whatever. Um, just check some of the old videos out. They're pretty funny. They're pretty took fun. The, took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not? So, we were going to talk about new videos as well. Yeah. I heard new videos. New videos. Now new old new videos. videos. We're not going to post. Videos. Yeah, no, we're not going to be posting any new videos. Every <laughs> everyone has got to just go watch all the old videos, and that's it. We're just gonna, we're just going to re-upload old ones. Yeah, easily. <laughs> no. Of course what not. a brilliant idea! Oh, what no, amazing. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, check out the old videos. Leave a like on those. Like you're going to learn a lot about us, a lot about personality, and hopefully it's going to get you a little more excited for what we're going to have coming up. Definitely. And from what we can sense. from what we can tell, the new videos are gonna blow the old videos away. So it's even more reason to subscribe, even more reason to look forward to the channel. Mm hmm I'm just gonna watch our new videos just for the intro, man. Like well, that's that's mad intro. intro. <laughs> that I'm just mad. gonna every, every week I'm just gonna upload the intro. As a, as a different video with an extra second. I need a loop. <laughs> Just keep looping it over and over. Ten, ten, hour, ten video. hour video. Yeah, <laughs> ten hour, ten hour crypto void intro video. I tell you what, if someone could sit through that, they're a real fan. Real, subscribers. Uh, real Can subscribers. Can I have the Ali Amy over it as well? Well, we yeah, we could do if we if we don't get copyrighted <laughs> by him <laughs> by the meme police. Oh God. Right, so. I guess I'll start off what sort of videos I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing on the channel. Um, what I've planned so far, anyway. Um, the the videos that we saw, well, the sort of I used to do on the channel were more, um, sort of like tutorial videos or like informational videos. But the videos that I want to sort of like have a go at now is a bit more of discussion videos around around certain topics to do with games like zombies uh fortnite or whatever um new games come out uh in the coming weeks and months so that's like sort of what sort of videos i'm going to be doing is sort of like commentary discussion videos because i feel like it gets people more more involved with what you're saying and then you can get other people's opinions yeah um, Exactly, mate. That that's right on the head there. Yeah, exactly. With all with all your kind of videos, your discussion, your topics, you can have a say and you can chat to them about it on a uh, on the Twitter. Yeah, leave exactly. a comment on the Instagram posts. Yeah. Maybe get a Discord server up and you can comment on there as well. Like all the interactions available for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we can always always expand things. So they're the sort of videos that I'm going to be doing. Maybe some sort of gameplay. Um, stuff don't really know that we'll, what we'll do is we'll the the structure of the channel is going to be we're all going to have sort of like our own individual videos that we make and then we'll have also have like collective videos with, that will we'll play games together or we'll we'll collectively 
um, put a video together and have inputs from each of us sort of thing. So there'll be there'll be sort of like individual videos from all three of us, and there'll also be collective videos from all three of us that into one video yeah. sort of thing. So three big personalities, one big channel. Oh, that's our slogan, mate. That's a slogan. <laughs> that's a slogan and a half. <laughs> right, so I guess I'll pass it over to you, Ben, and see what videos you're going to be coming up with. All right, on to me. We're going to leave the new boy till last. All right. Oh, rude. <laughs> right. For me, for me, I've always just done some Let's Play videos. I've uploaded a few old streams, like that was old me, new me. is going to be all about, like, heavy gameplay. So we're going to be, like, achievement hunt, and we're going to be completion like challenge completion uh if you want to see it it'll happen from one of the three of us we're covering literally everything uh i'm going for triple a titles like uh we recently got fallout 76 because that came out a few days ago mm -hmm. uh, so are we going to be doing a playthrough of that we're going to be easter egg hunting on that see what we can find uh i might even stream some games that is true. That's one thing that we we after some videos are up and all that, we're gonna um we're gonna try and and get a couple of streams in there. Obviously, Kieran will stream on his fabled channel on Twitch, which you can find in the link down below. Um, hey. <laughs> but um, as time goes on, there are we are gonna be on the actual channel doing some streams on YouTube. So look out for that as well. All right, that was a pretty good plug for that, I'm not going to lie. That was, that was pretty smooth. Yeah, that's like pretty professional <laughs> right there. Well, I might as well just leave now. I'm just going <laughs> <laughs> to... I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the channel to you two. I'll basically... I've got the fucking streamy already, mate. <laughs> right, so... We've got new videos, old videos... Uh, social medias, which are oh, all in the comments the below. Song. No, no, we're not forgetting anyone. Um, right, <laughs> choose between Ninja. No, nah, right. <laughs> <laughs> everything is in the the bottom below. In the bottom below. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Everything's in the comments in the description. Like, make sure you check it out. We might even let Kieran be the top top uh, link in the description. Oh my God. Nah. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 All right. The fourth. Fourth or fifth. Yes, no, as joking. long as he's you can be the top, the... Kieran. All right, there you go. Nice. Kieran's I'm Twitch link will be the top, top link description. Make sure you click it. Show him some love and listen to him right now, telling you about what kind of videos he's gonna do. Well, damn, finally. All right. So, what to expect from me? Obviously, streaming as we've mentioned before. As a Dota player, probably my solo ranked adventures of me just getting angry at every person under the sun. That's that's a standard thing. Ben, you've heard it before. Oh, I know. It's not pretty, <laughs> but it's pretty funny to listen to. Um, but it's not just that I play. Uh, as mentioned, I play FIFA. I, um, not very well, but uh, it's sad I do. But it's uh, funny when you miss. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but I also play games such as Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I play a lot of ranked in that. Um, I'm going to start streaming a bit more Overwatch, maybe making a few uh, compilation videos on that. And there's a few single player games that I'm going to be going back to and hopping through that I haven't actually played properly. So to expect from me, it's really just a lot of online PC games as I'm a PC gamer rather than a console gamer at this point, which I've ascended the other two. Whole, whole new audience, that's what it brings. Well, I was just flaming you, but yeah, whole new audience. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, mate. yeah, you get the top link in the description and everything, and you're still in solos. But, as, like, in terms of collaboration videos, like, I, I mean, we've got some things lined up, right? Should we Should we give a we, teaser, or should maybe... No, 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 they can... They oh, can I can wait, wait huh? Oh, so, be sure to check out the Twitter, I'm sure Ben will uh, post a few teasers, post a few uh, leaks here and there. Of Make what sure you check out us. the Instagram as well. Mm. When we When we find it. When we find it. <laughs> this has just been one massive plug. Just go follow our social media, alright? That's it. End yeah, the podcast that's, that's, here. That's follow the podcast. social media. <laughs> that's it. But, but they will find a lot of good stuff, a lot of insider things, sneak peeks, previews, teasers, 
they're gonna know what videos are coming out and they're gonna know to make sure to get back on the channel. In before you make a damn cipher for people to figure out to work out the next <laughs> video. Just <laughs> proper just try out zombies it. Subscri Encrypted. Subscription Easter eggs. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? So, alright, one topic before we go on to whatever else we had planned. New games that have come out. Mm -hmm. right. New games that have come out, okay. So we've got some big titles that come out. Red Dead 2, massively like anticipated game, has had a, an amazing reception. Definitely. Fallout 76. Uh, it, it had a rocky reception, but from what I've seen of it, it's, um, like videos and gameplay of it, it actually looks amazing. It has the true Fallout experience. And the other one, Black Ops 4. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts, yeah. guys? Let's bring on Black Ops 4. That's the big game. That's the one all three of us are hyped for. No, you forgot. Well, you forgot one. Is it Fortnite? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I right. Anything on those? Oh, I watched a load of a load of stuff on it this morning. It, it, it looks amazing. I really want to get it. Oh, right. I'm really excited. Right. Anyway, so Black Ops Four. Then let's let's talk about that just briefly. So, all right. All right. Ideas like obviously there's no campaign in this Black Ops. No. Or this COD game. But there is specialist uh, missions. There is, yes. But does the campaign loss take away from the COD? Like, does it make it feel less Call of Duty? Um, I think I think it sort of does in a way, but not intentionally. Because I, cause I hardly ever play the campaigns in CODs, um, but I still know it's there, obviously. Whereas, yeah. whereas now I know, obviously, it's not. Uh, it's all just multiplayer, like. It's just all online stuff, um, for all the free modes, and obviously the, the um, the specialist uh, hub or whatever it is, we can watch them things. That is obviously, obviously a partly a bit of the story, and that obviously then adds to the multiplayer experience, and also obviously the blackout experience. Um, so I think I think it not having a campa campaign, some, in some ways it does make the game better. But I feel like uh, in some people's cases, it gives too much to do. Do you know what yes. I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah I can understand that. I feel like I feel like on Black Ops Three, when I played it, there was a balance which I could do with multiplayer and zombies, and that was like leveling up or doing all that. But now we've got to worry about doing well, not necessarily. You don't have to, but like you've got to worry about leveling up in zombies, multiplayer, and obviously blackout. So, that's how I see it anyway. There's all yeah. the challenges and such to go with in all three modes. Which yeah, is, true. The inner completionist of everyone just wants to do everything, and it's actually really hard. Like, Ben, I'm going to pass this over to you, because you're the achievement hunter here. Campaign <laughs> gone. How how much of, like, gamer score do you think you'd have lost because they've taken away <laughs> the campaign? Hundreds good, of thousands. Nah, maybe like four or five hundred. Maybe six hundred though. Like... Maybe six hundred ish if you're thinking like completing it on hardcore mode or whatever realistic, realistic or whatever yeah. it is that they've got it Veteran now. Yeah. Mode. Um considering you didn't give me the other question, I'm gonna cover the other question anyway. Yeah, do it. Um I feel like it takes away a lot, you know, from COD. Yeah. I I love the campaign experiences. Like I really did. Um I've I've played every single COD campaign in like the last 14 years. I mean, that's a bit, that's a little exaggeration, maybe like. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean though, like. Yeah. The campaign was an integral part. Like, I remember sitting down, we were, you know, we were all the same age at that point, World at War, playing that campaign out in World War II, you know, sitting alongside Reznov. Like, it was an actual amazing experience. It was fun. Yeah. Um, the reason why I think it takes away so much. Is because like, a war's a real thing. Like that's that's a real thing that goes on, and it kind of almost hits home a little bit more with the way they do campaigns. Because mm -hmm. like, if you use Modern Warfare Two as a primary, like first of all, best card. Um, well, eh, mm -hmm. debatable. Mm -hmm. but it's up there. Top three. Hello, Top Black three. One on the phone. Top yeah, three. Black Ops top 1, three. I was going to say Black Ops 1 is my favorite. Alright, it's, it's the top three cards. Let's yeah, be yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'd say, I'd say, yeah, uh, top three. Definitely. But for the campaign on that, like, you think about uh, getting betrayed, betrayed by Shepard. Mm. Spoilers! Like, 
<laughs> Mate, <laughs> how old is that game now? Oh, oh like eight it's years. years. As old as my dad at this point. But anyway, yeah, like betrayal is a real thing. Like in a in a war scenario, that happens a lot. Yeah. Like, and war's an emotional thing. And I feel like COD now, especially Black Ops Four, considering it doesn't have the campaign, it's just too online-y, because like you're always playing a game with somebody else. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, I, I know you can play solos on zombies, but you've always got the online option of zombies. But campaign was like, it's just you experiencing this story. Yeah, definitely. That does bring up a good point, actually. Like, and that's taking it away. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty anymore. It just feels like another FPS that they've released. Like yeah. the Call of Duty was you going to war in this scenario in the campaign. That was the main part. Yeah, but it definitely. Feel like a Call of Duty anymore. It's just. No, nah, definitely. I feel like I feel like the campaigns have lost sort of like novelty in COD just because just because of all the they've done they've done a lot of campaigns in COD um, and there's only so much story elements you can use when it comes to war. I think. Yeah, that's so true. It's, it's hard to think, especially it it does all it all depends on um, like the setting of the game as well, like what era it's in. Yeah. Um, because I feel like with with this, it would be hard. I think with Black Ops 4, it would be hard to do a campaign in the Black Ops universe just because of where it's set in the timeline. Cause yeah. Because it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's set in between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. So, uh. they'd have to do so much like linking up of those two of those two yeah. games, do you know what I mean? I feel like that would just get too tangled and too, um, too messy. You got yeah, to remember the point. game, remember? It's Treyarch, and if there's anything that they can do, it's tangle up timelines. No, and yeah. Like, <laughs> like, has anyone played Zombies ever? Like, yeah, it's God. true. So, we've had to talk right. about the campaign of it. What, I what feel do you like... think of the multiplayer and Zombies experiences? I feel like Zombies is the campaign now. Yeah, there's so much uh, story yeah. to it. I feel like now because we've got two stories, especially, it's just the the story is the main story element that people come to COD for now is zombies. There's no, there's no, no one's coming. No one's really come to COD to play bloody specialist hub, are they? <laughs> like, like for, for story played, content. Actually. Yeah, I have, I have, I have, but I was not like, it's not the same as 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 being intrigued in the zombie storyline sort of thing. No, but um, as, as for zombies, I think it's. It's really good. Obviously, there's been a lot of discussion in the community over the past sort of couple of weeks or since launch of like crashes and stuff, um, bugs and everything, and, and basically the people leaks. saying that, yeah, and the leaks and people saying that the game's just not ready. It shouldn't yeah. have been released and stuff like that. But um, I feel like my experience has been a bit different. I've cr I've only crashed twice on while playing zombies or while playing. Um, while playing Black Ops 4 at all. Yeah. So... Well, you've got to remember, the most of the people that are crashing are like the big Easter egg hunters to the people yeah. that go really high rounds and really yeah. push the game. Yeah, the proper the proper um, hardcore fans of the of the of the mode who play it all not, the time. Not to say that we're not hardcore fans, but yeah, yeah. we don't. Our job isn't to try and break Let's all just of say the secrets of the game. There's specialists. There's specialists in what kind of zombie player you are, or what yeah, what kind of stuff you do within the community, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> as as for multiplayer, I think the multiplayer is great. I think it's it's really good. It flows really well. Sometimes, sometimes on some maps the spawns are a bit fucked, and you just get fucked. But you um, do, yeah. But other than that, I think the multiplayer is really good. There's there's some points in some maps where I miss the jump boost from yeah oh, and, yeah. And, and the wall running but at the end of the day that was i think that era of cod has been and gone now yeah. yeah so i don't think that'll be coming back anytime soon do you, do you know whose opinion we haven't asked yet well you're next no mate the, the, the opinion we haven't asked yet is the audiences oh that's yeah. the biggest one it's like, very true so they need to let us know you guys need to let us know for Black Ops 4, do you miss the campaign? Was it worth taking it out? What's your favourite game mode? How buggy's your game been? Comment down below. 
tweet us, you know, on the Crypto Void Twitter. Uh, let us know anyway. Send a carrier pigeon. We'll get it some way. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> let us know. Assassin's Creed 2 style. <laughs> exactly, there you go. Mate, I miss that game so much. That's good. That's what I was just thinking about. I was just thinking about that. What we could do um, is like retrospective videos. Ooh. Is that the right word? I don't know. Is it retrospective? So you oh, go, you, you you go back to a game that you've already played, and then see how you feel about it now, rather than what you felt about it when you first uh, played it. I'm going to say know. yes. That is the correct word because I actually don't know. Yeah. All right. So go for it, Jared. Yes. That's retrospective. Recto spectrum. A lot of there. Uh, Re what was it? Recto spe <laughs> spectral. Re retrospective. Yeah. Retrospective. All videos. right. Chat, Wait, comments, got that one cleaned up. chat and comments, you can roast Kieran now because he said it's the right word. Oh, no, 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 no. We all said we didn't <laughs> know. We nah. all said we didn't know, but Kieran right. said yeah, so you can roast him. Because I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> to, reverse, to reverse the question, what do you think, Kieran, of, of Zombies and Multiplayer? Oh, a reversal. Mm. Uh, I think Multiplayer you is just the best. just activated by Crap Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Simmons. Oh, fuck you, good man. Um, anyway. Multiplayer, I think, is the best it's been since Black Ops 1, actually, and that's my favourite multiplayer. Black Ops 2 is okay, Black Ops 3 is a bit, a bit rocky, you know, I got on with it, but it wasn't the best. Uh, but Black Ops 1 was perfect, and this kind of hits every checkbox, really. It's, you know, it's boots on ground, there's no funny flying people getting headshots for... Well, it's easy, really, in Black we Ops 3. We have very different ideas of what good COD games were. <laughs> to be fair, like, but I, I think Black Ops, Ops yeah... Three. I didn't. I never played Black Ops Two. I played no. I, I never played Black Ops Two multiplayer. I played Zombies, obviously. Yeah. Two multiplayer was one of my best multiplayer games. Mm. Black Ops Three is is my favorite COD. I think. Black Ops Two really set like a benchmark for CODs in the way because you know you had all like the, the new skins you could unlock properly, like all different challenges for it. Mm. Zombies really took a step in a different direction. Um, and it was still boots on ground COD. But, I don't know, Black Ops 1 kind of takes the cake for me. And Black Ops 4 feels like Black Ops 1. Obviously, you now I'll get like, the health bar and the healing part of it, which is yeah. a bit new. You know, it's, it's, it's a new feature, and I'm actually kind of glad they put it in. Um, so, you know, you're in, you're in total control of your health at all times. Yeah. And obviously, the guns are... Well, most of the guns are good. I'm not going to bring up the assault rifles Look, because nah, they are the cordite, the cordite on core. <sighs> oh, what's the, what are the two dual pistols? The Saug nine mil. Oh my god! You get roller mind by ten, like the tempest dude, and then you are just dead. The tempest it. dude. Well, what's his name? Prophet. That's the one. No, right. like his, his roller mind is broken. Slightly off topic. <laughs> the Roomba. Is there anything else we need to cover for Black Ops 4 before we move on to another game? Oh, I think that should be alright, seeing as we've got a couple of other games to talk about. Alright, next one is going to be the elephant in the room, because I don't think any of us have it. Do so correct me if I'm wrong. What, the elephant in the room? <laughs> red, <laughs> good Anyone game. have an elephant? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, red, red Dead 2. Mm -hmm. Does anyone no. own it? I don't. No, no me either. No. But... We've seen a lot of gameplay. We've heard a lot of things. And I think it looks phenomenal. And it's I'm gonna put like the most realistic game, right, Ben? I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there straight away and I know I'm gonna get roasted for it eventually. Mm. I've I've never played Red Dead Redemption. What? What? Not the not the original. Not Undead Nightmare. Oh. Not played two. I've never played what, Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption. What? I've never played any of the Red Dead series. How can you call yourself a gamer? What? Swear, man. Uh, swear down. Swear down, swear down, swear down. Oh my On god. On my life. What? I've never played it. I don't know. I really don't know. I think when, when it came out, I was just like, oh, I don't really have the money for it. Yeah. And then when I, when I did have money for it, there was like a new Halo game probably was came it really? out. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. And then I smashed that game out for a while. And I just never got round to it. Fair enough. And then I was like so immersed in like... Halo's abilities or like Call of Duty and I was like that just Cowboy didn't seem like the kind of game for me at the time. Fair enough. And I kind of miss not having experienced it because a lot of people I speak to play Red like Red Dead some way. 
yeah. or have done or want to. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone has a bit of knowledge about the game, and I'm yeah. just there like, yeah, no, cowboy and a six shooter. Like, as if I never knew that. Nah, they are Spawnman ninety nine trivia fact of the day. <laughs> To be honest with you, I haven't seen anything of Red Dead 2. Oh, this has been a terrible conversation. <laughs> Just no. It looks amazing. No, like, well, I've I've game seen game yeah, no, I've seen I've seen gameplay and stuff. I've seen like like Hunter and all that sort of stuff, but I've ne I haven't I don't know anything about the story or or anything like that because I'm waiting because Joel's got it. <laughs> Joel's bought it, so I'm waiting to come home for Christmas and then play it. Can, can we have a disclaimer on who Joel is? Joel is my little brother. Ah, there we go. Same. And he <laughs> is... Little, well, no, he's not that little, but he is over the age of 18 and can play Red Dead. <laughs> Good disclaimer. Just, yeah, for, yeah, like that. just for just for disclaimer. Just in case you have any cops watching the video. Well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Kieran, no. it's yes. all resting on your shoulders, buddy. Red Dead 2. <laughs> Well, from what I've seen, it is meant to be like the most realistic game Rockstar has put out. It's GTA V was such an intense game. It was so good. Everything they added was just good. And the fact they've gone and upped GTA V is just ridiculous. You have to do everything. Like, you know, you have to reshoot your horse for fuck's sake. Like, <laughs> a little feature like that, like, it's, it's just amazing that Rockstar makes you do it to make you feel more immersed in that kind of setting. And I played a lot of Red Dead uh, 1 and Undead Nightmare, like, an insane amount. And from what I see of this game, I will be buying it. That, like, so, I haven't bought a full game, a full price game in years now, but that will be the first in a long time. So, question point, topic for discussion. Mm -hmm. You just said, Kieran, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that you have to reshoot your horse and little things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting something like that in a game, I can understand like the appeal of oh it's so immersive yeah how many people do you think it will turn away because they're like i don't want to be doing that in my game i want to get on with stuff little tedious activities like that how many people do you many. think it will turn away not many at all i, I don't, don't think. i don't i don't think that like i don't know i don't think that like a lot of people will know about that stuff when they immediately buy the game so I feel like it's stuff that, that's learned, if you know what I mean, then you just have to sort of go with it. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, pretty good. Like, and I don't think it'll turn many people away, to answer your question in full. Like, I think it'll... If it does push people away, then it's because they're lazy and they literally just want a shooter, so go buy COD. Good thing but, I've got COD. Oh, yeah, I know. But, <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just talking from like a, a my kind of perspective. I want to be doing that kind of stuff in my games. You know, I don't want to just have the game spoon fed to me. Say like my horse auto repairs and stuff like that. That's fair enough. Like, yeah, that is fair enough. I uh, yes, my perspective. I I want to be doing all these little things to make sure my game is good. Okay, I can't argue with that. <laughs> so, so I guess that, that's Red Dead done because we all don't own it. We've only seen gameplay. We know a few features here and there. So the last but... one. Speaking of activities in a game that you have to do that you may not have to do in other games, which can be considered tedious, somehow gives us a segue in some world into Fallout 76. Ah, yes. Oh. Because, I mean, it's funny you should mention it, because you do have to eat and drink to keep up your food and hydration bars, otherwise you'll die. Is that new to Fallout? Uh, it is new to core Fallout. Because you could play Fallout normally well, or in survival Fallout. mode. With survival mode. Oh, right, okay. Um, where you, like, if you broke a limb or something, you had to go to a doctor properly to get it fixed. You couldn't just stim pack and it's cool. Um, same as if you eat and drink and you have to keep that up, otherwise you die. Fallout 76, however, straight away in the game, it's like, food and drink, otherwise you're dead. What do you think That's about that? Cool. Um... I only ever played like survival modes and other Fallout games briefly just to see what it was like. And it felt tedious to me back then. Mm -hmm. Probably because I was a little bit younger and I was used to the core game of just like, oh, I can run around and the ATS things. Um, the VAT system is a targeting system for people that don't know Fallout. Yeah, let's not bring up that system because it's actually. Oh, cool. The VAT system's good. 
You're all right. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> in Fallout 76, because you don't really get a choice, it's pinned to you as a survival game. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah. It's post-apocalyptic, you just come out of the vault, you've got to rebuild America, so you're like, you got to survive. But you actually have to survive, it's not just running around being like, Okay, I'm good. And the collection of food and drink and all those things, and then you have to go to a craft and state, like, not car, a cooking stove, and like actually boil the water and make a meal, and it, I don't know, it, that feels immersive, because you know it's a survival game. Hmm. No, I, I get what you're saying there, yeah. If if that answered your question, Jared. <laughs> well, compared to something like Red Dead? Compared to something like Red Dead? I don't know, because obviously I can't speak from experience because well, yeah. I've not played Red no, Dead. No, 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 of course, but like, I mean, like, like, uh, it's not, uh, in Fallout, it's not doing stuff as tedious as what it sounds oh, no, like in Red Dead. It's not as tedious as that, no. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's, um, that's, that's what but I then trying. I suppose I've never seen... Red no. Dead in the, in the light of that's this fair is a survival enough. game. Yeah, that's fair enough. So you can't really say. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's it's almost like an apple and an orange because they're both still fruit because they're both still tedious things, <laughs> but one's an apple and one's an orange. Okay, one's a survival yeah. game and one's a western that's shooter. Good, yeah. Like okay, yeah, fair enough. It's that almost starting to sound like Daisy, like with Fallout seventy six. Like, you're in a massive wasteland, you need to eat, you need to drink, you need to keep yourself, like, fixed. Yeah, but it's all actually good. Well, yeah, because Daisy just was never finished. There you go, uh, then. But it's, uh, like, very like similar. Four. Like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. So, so there's... Uh, really... Yeah, so... Well, have either of you two seen anything about 76? Well, I haven't, though. No. I've only seen you play it. You've seen me play it? Yeah. What's your opinion of visual learning? Visual... Uh, it looked alright. It You know, it, it looked... Well, it looked like a Fallout game, so... You can't really go wrong there, and... Um, you, you know my viewpoint on Bethesda games. You're not the biggest fan. No, that's fine. No, that's I can stomach the phone. Uh, New Vegas is one, one of the best games I've played. Like, hands down, I, I actually love New Vegas. And I'm not a Fallout fan, really. Fair um, enough. But visually, Definitely. like, it, it looked like it had good gunplay, it looked like it had a good, like, map system, like, the fast travelling and stuff, you know, brought, like, a lot of, um, memories back from, say, like, Skyrim and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was, was pretty good. So, to, uh, round the Full Out 76 topic conversation off, I'm gonna leave us with one simple sentence on it. For Jared, for yourself, mm -hmm. and for... Every single viewer, subscriber, non-subscriber, new to the channel, OG viewers, like, all of yous, all of y'all, as they say. Who says that? Murica. Murica. <laughs> <laughs> For all of you guys that don't really know anything about Fallout in general, or especially Fallout 76, keep an eye on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you've got the notification bell on for when we upload, especially... Ding. Because, <laughs> because we are going to be putting out Fallout 76 videos for you guys to enjoy, for you guys to learn, for you all to make your own opinions about it, and hopefully you'll enjoy the game just as much as I do. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. So, all, all three games are mentioned. Uh, they're all quite, you know, quite big releases. People have anticipated these. So, people that, you know, slam in the comments. What one do you rate the best? Do you prefer the Black, uh, Black Ops game? Do you prefer the new Red Dead? Do you prefer the new Fallout? Let us know. We want to know. And what we'll do you prefer out. Pokemon? Oh. Yeah. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. <laughs> Better yet, which one are you going to get? Pikachu or Eevee? Hmm. Mr. Tom. Well, I'm, discussion. I'm not going to get any because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. So. <laughs> <laughs> well. Whoever, yeah. whoever out there has a Nintendo Switch, which one are you going to get? Or, are you going to buy a Nintendo Switch just because it's coming out? Oh, that's a, that's a shout, that's a question. Mm. That is a question. I so, can't say I will be. I won't. Is there <laughs> anything else that we need to tell them? I think uh, the only thing we need to sort of address is that 
We are back. We are we... back. Mm. You guys are back, and I'm fresh in. Yeah, yeah. we're back, and he's new. And Kieran's <laughs> new. We need a little bit of help. So, I think that will conclude the first episode of Crypto Cast Podcast. Um, thank you guys very much for listening in, and we're gonna do we're gonna do these every sort of like two weeks, I think. So, every fortnight. But, um, fortnight. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, every fortnight we'll be doing these these podcasts. Not too sure what days they're going to go up, but we'll we'll sort out a schedule. Um, we'll let you know on the Twitter. Yeah, we'll let you know on Twitter, Instagram, when we have it, and um, we'll get something sorted out for that. But yeah, this has been the first episode. Um, the previous episode was sort of like a pilot because we sort of like just didn't carry it on afterwards. <laughs> Uh, we gave it a go. <laughs> yeah, we we done it once and then didn't end up doing it again. But these ones we are going to be doing every two weeks. So look out for that every uh, two weeks. I don't know what day. Uh, we'll let you know, though. So anything else anyone w wants to add before we cut it off? Mm, I think we've covered everything. I didn't mean yeah. to moo like a cow there, either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was playing Minecraft. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've been... Sporeman99 of Crypto Void. You can call me Ben. And that's me signing off. I don't think anyone else is going to sign off in that manner. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just laughs> like, well, you mean with the dodgy accent as well? <laughs> Wait no. for Jared to sign off. Just like, hmm. <laughs> like... Right, no. Right, okay. I'm Jared, also known as Ginger Nut Jared, but you can just call me Jared if you want to. Um, yeah. See you later. I've been Fabled, otherwise known as Kieran, and see you in the next one, guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that in. Yes. <laughs>